We are now about one hour and fifteen minutes out of Kathmandu and another forty or so kilometers to Trisuli Bazaar. And that's our Jeep. We should reach there at about 12 noon to 1 p.m. Takes about twice as long on the public public bus. Uh, ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rani Poa. Is it Rani Poa? Rani Poa. Okay. How long more before we reach Trisuli Bazaar? Oh, Manaslu. Okay. Two hours. Two hours more to Trisuli Bazaar. Okay. We are making good time. Looks like there's a uh, delay. Something happened on this road. Not sure what happened. I'll find out in a moment. Maduk, what happened? This was a medical problem. Medical problem. Somebody is. You are the doctor. You want somebody to is sick. You have to check. No. It's engine. Problem. A engine problem. Not a medical problem. <laughs> mechanical problem. <laughs> okay. Mechanical problem. So a bus, a bus is stuck there. Yes. yes. Okay. So some tire is going to leak. Oh, changing a tire. Changing a tire. Okay. So it won't take that long, right? <laughs> Not to take long. Okay. minutes from Kathmandu we have arrived at this town this town here called Kalitastan and the boys have decided to make it our lunch stop <laughs> That's our lunch, Dalbat. We are leaving Kali Dasan now. <coughs> and uh, we are five hours since the start of our journey from Kathmandu. Would you believe that they sell mobile phones over here? So we're continuing on this uh, tortuous mountain road with numerous switchbacks. At this rate, I guess anyone would get motion sickness before he gets mountain sickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Looks like another roadblock, and this time is the digger used for maintaining the road that has broken down. Roadblock is cleared, and my jeep is coming for me. Uh, six hours from Kathmandu. We have just entered the uh, Langtang National Park and uh, shown our papers to the uh, park, National Park uh, checkpoint. Six hours and 20 minutes from Kathmandu and finally we have arrived at Dunche. This is the trailhead at Dunche. Uh, time now is about 1.30. We're going to start our trek from here. I must say that the ride here was probably one of the most nerve-wracking and uh, gut-wrenching rides I ever had in my life. I'm glad that I didn't throw up. I hope you won't if you come here, but obviously this trip is not for everybody, especially for those who have weak stomachs. <laughs> Oh.